welcome back to my channel. This is always is Sally's Kitty Haven, where we turn your learn time into our fun time. Now I know very well that the Christmas holidays are over, but I can't help but be merry and happy. As a result, we're going to kickstart the year with a fun video that has a bit of a Christmas theme. Now, today we'll be talking about types of sentences. We talked about sentences in our previous videos. If you haven't seen it, go back and check it out. And now we'll talk about types of sentences with a twist in a special Christmas edition. If you're excited, join me as we explore. Let's get into it. What will we be doing today? Well, first, we'll revise sentences. Then, we'll get to know the four types of sentences. After, we'll give examples of each type of sentences. And finally, we'll stop, think, and answer some questions. Ready? Let's go. Before we commence, why don't we do a bit of a revision? In our last lesson on sentences, we said that a sentence is a group of words that makes sense. So, whenever you have a group of words, by now, after watching the previous video, you should be able to tell the difference between a fragment and a sentence. We all know that if a group of words is a sentence, then it means that we can make meaning out of it. Let's check out some fun facts about sentences. They begin with capital letters. They end with punctuation mark or an end mark. And they must make sense or express a complete thought. I think we've revised enough and now we can move straight to types of sentences. The first type of sentence we'll talk about today is statement. Say it with me, statement. Now, statement tells you something. It ends with a full stop. And when you have a group of words that is a sentence and you realize that it's telling you something, then you have a statement. Let's check out some examples. Fred opened his presents. Susu loves Christmas. These two sentences are statements because they're telling us something. The first sentence is telling us that Fred indeed opened his presents and the second is simply telling us that Susu loves Christmas. Statements tell us something and they end with full stops. The second type of sentences is command. A command tells you to do something or it orders you to do something. Commands end with a full stop. Some examples of commands are don't open your presents, fetch me my gloves. Now, if somebody asks you don't open your presents, it's a command. They are telling you not to open your presents. It's an order for you not to do something. Fetch me my gloves is also a command telling you to do something. Remember, commands must always end with a full stop. The third type of sentences is a question. A question asks you something. It ends with a question mark. For those of us that do not know how to write a question mark, that is the symbol in bracket. Let's see some examples of questions. Have you been good this year? Can you sing a carol? These sentences are questions because they are asking you something. Remember, they begin with a capital letter like all sentences and they must end with a question mark. The fourth and final type of sentences is an exclamation. Now I know it's a bit of a heavy word, so we're going to break it into syllables and say it together. Are you ready? X, pla, may, shin. Good job, 
exclamation. An exclamation shows the feeling or emotions. It ends with an exclamation mark. An exclamation mark is simply the symbol that you find in brackets. That's for those of you that do not know how to write it. Now listen, if you have a group of words and you're not sure if it's an exclamation, simply ask yourself, is this sentence showing me any feeling of some sort? Whether it is excitedness, sorrow, anger, or fear. Whatever feeling it is, it means it's an exclamation sentence. Let's check out some examples. Ho, 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 I love Christmas. The tree looks amazing. These two sentences are exclamations because they show us some sort of a feeling. What feeling do we get from the first sentence? Ho, 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 I love Christmas. It's a feeling of joy and love, isn't it? What about the second? The tree looks amazing. It's also about excitement and joy. So, from an exclamatory sentence, you can feel something. It shows feelings and emotions. And don't forget to add your exclamation mark. Now, let's stop, think and answer some questions. Did you see Santa? The star is on top of the tree. How cold it is. Go to your room. These are four sentences. Remember that we said that every sentence must begin with a capital letter and end with a punctuation mark or an end mark. Do you see any end marks at the end of these sentences? No. So it's your job to add an end mark. You're going to stop this video at this point, grab your notepads and pencils and try and write out these sentences. After that, you have to write the correct end mark for each sentence and then write what type of sentence each is. So, pause this video right now, finish the work and see me on the next slide for us to reveal the answers together. I'll see you there. Now let's review the answers together. Did you see Santa? This sentence requires a question mark in the end. Why? Well, did you see Santa is clearly asking us something. And we mentioned that any sentence that asks something is a question. So, did you see Santa is a question. The star is on top of the tree. This sentence is telling us something. It's telling us where the star can be found. Therefore, it needs a full stop because it is a statement. Statements tell us something. How cold it is. Now this one is going to get a lot of us confused, isn't it? Because of the presence of the word how, I'm sure a lot of us went in for question marks. This is not a question. How cold it is, is not asking us something. Rather, it's showing some sort of feeling or emotion. If I said how cold it is, I'm telling you I feel cold. It feels cold generally. So this is an exclamation because it has to show some sort of feeling and it ends with an exclamation mark. Go to your room. Now this is a clear order. It is a command. It's telling us to do something. Go to your room needs a full stop because it's a command. Boys and girls, how many of these were you able to get right? If you were able to capture everything right, I'm super duper proud of you. Good job. If you didn't, don't worry about it. It's all a learning process. After all, it's the effort that counts. All too soon, we've come to the end of today's lesson. 
much fun. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, like and share this video. Happy New Year one more time and remember, I love you so, so, so much. Take care, stay safe. Toodles.